job and I work in Seattle schools through a nonprofit called Space Between. We work with teachers and students on mindfulness, noticing what's happening with our emotions, our bodies, and our brain and how they all work together because they do. Mindfulness is paying attention to what is happening right now with kindness and curiosity. When I was a little girl, I found that sometimes I would get really sad or angry or worried about things, especially when things seemed a little strange or off at school or at home. I'm sure some of you have felt this way. When your feeling is so strong that it just starts here and it builds and it makes you do something or say something that you don't really mean. Sometimes I got stuck with the same thought in my head and it would play over and over again. Maybe some of you have felt that way too. It happens to kids and grown-ups. I wish I had learned some things when I was younger. Um, and so I'm gonna show you some of the things I do now. You can see if they work for you. And if it doesn't work the first time, maybe try it a couple more times and see if you notice anything. One time I came home from school and I was in second grade and I found out that my brother had spilled orange juice all over my stuffed teddy bear. I was so angry. I felt my anger build up in my chest and it was going up my throat. I wanted to scream. I felt like this shape. Can you show me what it feels like when you feel angry with your hands? What about when you feel happy? Where do you feel happiness? I feel my happiness right here. The more we practice noticing what big emotions we feel, the more we can stop and pause before we do or say something we wish we hadn't said or done. One thing that really helps me is to breathe on purpose. It might sound weird because our bodies are already breathing, but this is how we breathe on purpose. So here is my favorite breath. It is called the heart fan breath. And what you're going to do is you're going to stand up, your hands are to your side, and you're going to close your mouth and you're going to breathe through your nose, unless you have a stuffy nose. Stand up nice and straight, and then you're going to take both hands and make a heart fan, just like this, on your heart. And breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your nose. Try it with me. Breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Breathe love into your body and breathe out love for your teachers, your friends, your parents. Breathe in love one more time and breathe out love for everyone around you. And just notice how you feel right now. The more we practice this type of breathing, the more we are able to stop those big emotions that come up and make us act a certain way that we don't want to act or say. Try doing purposeful breath every day, just like you brush your teeth and see what happens. You might not notice anything different the first time, but see what happens if you keep doing it every day. Thank you so much for watching.